Hello, and welcome back to the Guild Wars Let's Play. Uh, we're going to continue the main story now by doing the quest known as A Brother's Fury. It's our primary quest. Um, basically, when the White Mantle came and took the Chosen in that last primary cutscene, uh, one, uh, uh, one character was killed, and he was the brother of this guy we're going to see right outside. So that's basically... So the Chosen have been kidnapped by the Shining Blade. And this guy's brother was one of those people who were killed, and he wants revenge. You found nothing? Cloth is scarcely the heads of those who killed my brother, is it? No, your grace. It's just that this forest is alive with spirits and plants such that could eat a grown ox. Ha! You mean to tell me that you're unmanned by some common... Oh, you're so fast. Yes, you there. Are you afraid of a few bushes and flowers, are you? No, I'm not afraid of a few bushes and flowers. I can do it. Uh, do you know the tale of Kalos the No-Headed? If you don't, perhaps you should. It is one of justice, one of my murdered brother loved to tell. Those we pursue will face a similar fate. May the Unseen Chosen One guide us. Alright. So, yeah, I have to go around, talk to these guys, gather the clues, and go from there. I used to be White Mantle Seeker, but Lord Thomas offers me a chance to be part of his elite house guard. How can I say no to his coin? I will report back as soon as the area is fully scouted. They have taken the main path here. I tell you, no one can navigate this jungle more nimbly than those rebels. If it weren't for the lawless nature, their contempt for everything we stand for, their constant raids, and their underhanded tactics, I wouldn't half mind seeing them in our ranks. But don't tell his grace I said that. He'd have my head. There are other scouts up ahead, though. Perhaps they found something. Interesting. <laughs> I like that. Besides basically being our polar opposite, they're pretty cool. Nope. I've really got to turn some of these markers in before it's too late. House Ranger Lynette at your service. My lord sent you? You are the one who saved our great confessor. No wonder his grace sent you out ahead. That Thomas is just a man. There are some who question his heavy-handed methods. Not I, for one. It makes me sick to think that those filthy rebels did to those brave Justicars. His grace will deliver them the justice they deserve. I'll head back as soon as I'm finished up here. I sent Ryolan up ahead to see if he couldn't find something. Alright. Making me fall down. God damn it. There you go. You keep the money. You keep the money. All right, uh, this way. Run! Oh, there we go. On the road again. It's weird that you can basically get quests out of order. It's weird. I don't know if it's because of the leveling. The leveling curves probably changed so much over the years. My guess. Hello there, time is short. What can I help you with? Report back? We should be moving forward. From the looks of things, they led the Chosen right into the heart of the jungle. How uh, how they get through this tangled mass is beyond even my abilities. They move like spirits through the overgrowth, disturbing nothing. They're nearly impossible to track. Not to question his tactics, but I doubt it will matter how much knights and Jessicars his grace brings to bear. The jungle won't yield up its secrets to anyone <clears throat> than that willing to bring his brother that's willing to bring his brother back. Hmm. Like, no man. I feel like there's a. I feel like there's gonna be an ambush. Is there an ambush here. I feel like spiders. Okay, moss scarabs.
I'm starting to remember, basically. Yeah, there is spiders. I knew it. I knew there would be spiders. They take their sweet time coming down, but I knew it. Oh, here comes some more. Bleed. Boom. Very good, very good. Where are you going, Moss Scarab? Exactly. You ain't going anywhere. That's what I thought. How do we get... Damn it, they run into other mo moss scarabs and they just keep grabbing moss. Scarabs. Oh, wait, there's Shiz. And she has the villagers. Come back. Oh, there's a little role play right there for you. Okay. Get back here. Get back here. Into the wilds. Get back here. And here we are. The wilds. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Always a merchant at your side. This is a pretty cool place. I like this little... I, I love outposts. I think they're always the cool. They exist in the world. Or, well, in this case, I'm mission, but you know what I mean. I am here on the authority of Confessor Dorian himself. Stay a moment and hear what I have to say. While just a car... Thomason's rage toward the heretics who slew his brother is understandable. We cannot afford to send scores of knights on a frontal assault into an unmapped jungle. All the white man uh, all, all all the while allowing the undead to march unchecked across the Crichton countryside. I will bear the burden of informing the Justicar that his forces are required for the defense of Crita. As for tracking these rebels into the wilds, I'll leave this matter in your hands. Numbers will, will not be on your side, but the unseen ones will watch over you. Okay. So this, this is why the white mantle pull out and you're basically on your own at this point. Okay. Uh, why are you still here? Shouldn't you be tracking down the Shining Blade? Do you have something we need to discuss? It's all the commotion about. Jessica, Taran, and Ryan have been murdered. They were leading the Chosen to the Temple of the Unseen when they were attacked. The white mantle guards were all killed and the Chosen were taken as hostages into the Maguma jungle. Taran and Ramon are dead? Murdered in cold blood. Their caravan was attacked as they passed out of Lomehurst. Both men bravely gave up their lives defending the Chosen. It pains me to think of what the survivors must be going through right now. To watch their white mantle protectors killed. Then, to be taken captive. Those poor souls, which should have been the greatest day of their lives, have been transformed into a living nightmare. So who are the Chosen? Don't you remember the Divine Eye of Janthier? You yourself administered the test. The Eye identified those citizens with exceptional magical talent. Those who someday may gain the true sight. They were being taken to the Temple of the Unseen. Why the Temple of the Unseen? Uh, to study under the Grand Masters, of course. The Divine Eye identified them as having the gift of true sight. The Chosen have the potential to, of one day becoming powerful mages. But one isn't just born into magic. They must train and refine their gifts if they want to someday realize their real power. Who would have done this? The Shining Blade. That's who. They call themselves revolutionaries. Then they are no revolutionaries. The Shining Blade are nothing more than a godless bunch of bloodthirsty cowards. They hide from the light of truth deep within the Maguma jungle, coming out only to, uh, only to torment and harass the honest, law-abiding citizens of Krita. The Shining Blade live in the Maguma jungle? You could say that. They must have discovered a way to travel through the dangerous overgrown vegetation. No one has ever wanted to venture in there. The plants have a taste for blood, and in shadows are stalked by monstrous beasts. They say the spiders are twice the size of a man. I don't know about you, my friend. 
but even the thought of a spider that big makes me shake my shaking my boots. What must I do? You must gather a group and head into the jungle to save the hostages and avenge the deaths of Terran and Ryan, of Terran and Ryan. But you must move quickly. The Shining Blade already have a head start. If you don't get to the Chosen soon, there'll be no telling what might happen. I'm on my way. We're counting on you. Make us proud. All right. Let's go. We gotta go save them. We gotta save the Chosen. Remember, we're, if we come across the bonus, sure, but otherwise we're just going to keep going. This is mostly a let's play of the main story, you know how it is. You know what it is. Damn it. Dude, cry of frustration is so bad. Like, it's so annoying to deal with. Wait, White Mantle, wait! Oh, you dummies. Should have waited like two seconds. Oh, also, what is this? I want to read this. The Maguma jungle is perhaps the most dangerous place on the continent of Tyria. The Karayans don't often venture inside its borders, and those who do are seldom heard from again. Stories of man-eating plants and gigantic insects are commonly told around the campfires and inside the hunt huts of local villages. Most of the time, to scare little to scare little children from wandering into the clingering vines. Pretty badass. Alright, these guys are dead as fuck. Dude, I was too busy reading the pamphlet. <laughs> Leave. Oh, stop it. Cut it out. Money, money. Alright, kill it. Oh, wow. There's still a white mantle alive? I didn't even know. Wow. What a surprise. I'm surprised he's alive. Are you just gonna run to your death? Quickly to the camp. The Shining Blade must be worn. Oh. Shining Blade Scout. So much ow. Oh no! They oh no, they touched her to death. Why would they do that? Asshole. I really should pay more attention to my healer. I really gotta try to play him better. <laughs> we're at that point now. These aren't heroes. If they were heroes, I didn't have to really pay attention, but they're not heroes, they're just NPCs. Here they come. Rocking and rolling. Alright. Die! Perfect. Through the jungle. This isn't. This is not even the deep jungle yet. The deep jungle. Hmm. The thing I, lo I love about Porteria, like this core little area we play in, is that there's so many different biomes in just like this one little part of the world. You have oh shit, that's not good. Uh, you, but you have like your jungles, your desert, your mountains, your ruins, your your green lands. Just like I don't know. They also, you also get like your dragons, your undead. Like you get so many different. It's just such like a hodgepodge of different things. I don't know. I love it. Holy shit! There's so many over here. Yeah. 
Damn it, life pod, die. Got another another scarab. What the hell? Where are they coming from? What the heck? It's where they, they just pop out right out of the ground. They're just like boop. Uh, he's a healer. We got... Oh, man. This is actually going to be really hard. They're all healing. They're all heal boys. There we go. We got to out DPS them. It's the only way. All right. I'm going to try to take on this tree of vitality. Okay. Bleed. Man. He, look at all those... He just... And he's like fully set. He's fine now. Okay. Kill the moss. Kill the scarabs. Right, kill this life pod. Perfect. And now we all just attack the tree. Can't survive all the DPS. We got this. Yeah! Stupid tree. I won't let a tree stop me. I'm stronger than a tree, okay? This is what I'm trying to get across. I love the idea of running over big logs. Man, the jungle is so cool. Look at this. Just look. Just admire. The scarabs. Oh, cutscene. I was wondering if there's one of these coming up. It's a big seed. See now, I wonder like, I always wonder now is in like Guild Wars two times, is is this Mordremoth stuff? You know, like you, they could technically like tie this stuff back and be like, yeah, this is all Mordremoth. Like, one this way, yeah, like these magic seeds, these giant magic plant growing seeds. Yeah, that was dragon magic Mordremoth seeds. Like they could do that, but I, I get I like, and that's fine. Not everything needs a backstory, though. Like, not every, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I guess it makes for good. It makes for decent headcanon, if, if nothing else. You'd be like, oh, well, that's it all, and now. I mean, know where it comes from? It's just magic seeds from an elder dragon. And that can be. Some people like that closure, that consistency in the world. But it can also make the world seem kind of small because then you're just like, well, everything is just dragon magic. How did that happen? Dragon magic. What about that? Oh, dragon magic. You know what I mean? Uh, I gotta find a balance. I guess in this case it works, I guess, because it's specifically magical plant. But. Smoke them off. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna shut up. Ow! Oh, God! That hurt. Stepping on fire hurts so bad. Why? Why is this a thing? Oh, God. Oh, there's so many fire traps. I hate this. Uh... Make them all bleed. I do believe, like, the... The bonus is like listen to some uh, some of these Maguma centaur people talk. So this can't be the right way, right? Why, why do they show me the cutscene of them going across if then I'm just like going way out of my way, right? This can't be. What am I doing? We're getting lost in the jungle already. Oh fuck! That's that that sound is super nostalgic. <laughs> 
Let me get all these Magoomas. Please don't come up. Please don't. Oh, no. They let it happen, didn't they? Oh, but the... No, no, they're just dead. This is just Max dead. Max dead. Max dead. Oh, we're in a mission, right? So if we die, it's just gonna restart us, isn't it? You know what happens? I haven't died in a mission yet. I think, I think, yeah, I think we might just die. Oh, and that's... Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta start adding some... I gotta look at my build and actually do something. I gotta bring a resurrection. Because, like, even... Yep. I knew when we pulled that other group, you were so boned. Okay. Well, we made it to the wilds, and we know what we're going up against. I'm going to change my build up a little bit. I'm going to add a resurrection, because I need to. And we're going to we're gonna set some stuff up. The game's getting to a point now I can't just close my mind off, you know what I mean? So, hey, good thing. We're 50 episodes in, and now we... Get it's time to buckle down. I think that's fair. Time to buckle up and, and get serious. So I'm going to do that. And I will catch you guys in the next one where we'll actually get through the wilds. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Alright. Till then. Stay super. Peace out everybody.